What is up guys? It's BrianWhenEverState.com and welcome to this week's string log. But first, let's make an atlas stone. All right, so I use the exact same mold that I used for the how to make atlas stones video, which is a 20 inch Slater mold. Now, I filled that one completely up with concrete and ended up with 350 pounds, so this time I thought I would add some weights in the middle of it and see if I could get it above 400. So those are some old rusty weights, that's a 25 with two tens on each side, and here's a little spoiler alert, I ended up with a 385 pound stone. So angry. Hopefully that is going to be 400 pounds. If it's anything less than 400 pounds, I'm going to be very, very upset. Better be 400 pounds. And now we move on to training where Monday it was the car deadlift. Now on Friday, I was talking to one of the members from my gym who was really good at working with metal, was an awesome welder. And then Monday, he brought in a car deadlift frame. Really awesome. And of course, if we get new toys in the gym, we can't help but use them immediately. So here you go. So this ended up being a really cool day at the gym because a bunch of people got to deadlift cars that had never done it before and nothing beats someone's face when they do that. What you're seeing here is a Subaru Outback for a set of 10. It really isn't that bad. I had done a couple reps warming up, and so I thought, why don't I throw my Jeep on there? Now, if you notice, my Jeep has big tires and bumpers and a bunch of dumb stuff, and it's also very heavy. So then we drop back to my friend's Jeep, which is just a standard four-door Wrangler, and I was able to get that three times, but that was super heavy as well. But I was happy to know that it's not impossible and my Jeep will just be a goal weight. All right, so like I said, that was Monday, Labor Day. Not everyone takes off Labor Day. I have zero training footage to show you from Wednesday because I was at the doctor for my brain tumor. Yes, I have a brain tumor. No, I'm not gonna die. Let's move on. So since I wasn't able to train Wednesday, I had to smush both workouts together here on Friday, which is today. Hopefully it goes well. Let's go find out. I'll meet you back here for the video recap after. So like I said, I had to slam a couple days together. So right here, you're seeing me push conditioning along with strongman together in the same thing. And I just so happened to do it on one of the hottest days we've had in a while. It was super humid and that would prove to be a mistake. But what I decided to do was 10 rounds of at the top of every odd minute, I would do 150 foot yoke walk with 550 pounds. And then at the top of every even minute, I would do 30 seconds max effort battle rope, which you're seeing there. By the end of the probably sixth round, I knew it was a mistake. By the end of the 10th round, I'm still recovering. I don't know. It was, it was bad. It wasn't cool at all. And I've actually gotten a couple questions about the yoke walk recently. And what I personally like to do is push out on the upright. So you can see right there, I'm pushing as hard as I can outward. So it builds more of a shelf on my back. So I can keep it kind of more in the low bar position as well as forward. So that it is driving the entire thing. Well, forward. That was redundant. So after I got done that, I sat around really contemplating my life choices and then moved on to my strength work where it's going to be a bunch of different exercises because like I said, I had to slam a bunch of different things into this day. I started out with axle rows. Axle rows. Wow. Anyway, I moved on to the legless arm over arm rope climb. Again, I was doing the axle pendulay rows and these mainly to work my grip. The weights weren't super heavy, obviously, and I was just really trying to tax my grip on a day like today. I don't know. That Axel Rose thing is messing with my head. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, because you're probably 16, the lead singer of Guns N' Roses is named Axel Rose. Anyway, I moved on to weighted dips, and this is 210 pounds. It's four plates plus the 25 plus five pounds of chain, and I was doing sets of five on here. Uh, these are a really, really good addition. I did not feel like benching, so I thought I'd do something different. So I decided to do weighted dips. These with weighted pull-ups are two terrific, terrific assistance exercises. And also in this giant set, I was working axle rollouts. What all that is, is basically you take an axle and you stick some 45s on there, you roll out and you just go a little bit past push-up position. I like to extend out to my toes and then you have to suck it back in with your abs. It is pretty challenging, a little different than an ab wheel rollout, so I like them. It's a good ab exercise, you should give them a try. Well, that wasn't easy. That yoke walk slash battle rope kind of combo, yeah, that almost killed me. Everything else was good, it was pretty standard. So, some thoughts on nationals. I'm getting excited for it, I feel pretty good. Yes, there are some nerves there, but overall, right now, it's excitement. 
my training feels pretty good for it. I will start ramping things up here very soon so that I will kind of peak and then start to taper off. Weight cut is going okay, if okay means bad. It's not quite where I like to be at this stage. However, I will make it. I always make it. Hope I make it. I'll make it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed training footage and a special thank you to Mike for making that car deadlift frame. I absolutely love it. I love you and hate you at the same time. And hopefully that Atlas stone is 400 pounds. If it comes out at like 390, I'm punching in the face. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully things are going well for you. I will be back early next week with another how-to video. I'm kind of undecided on what that's going to be. I also very well may tape a question that I got yesterday about what to expect at your first strongman competition. We'll see what I have time to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Go out and hit some PRs, work hard, do something amazing with your lives, and I will catch up with you early next week.